Unity 101, adding gamepad support to Unity apps. In this short video we'll talk about adding gamepad support. Gamepad support is a requirement for gaming on Shield, but it's also good to have for many other platforms. Unity supports a lot of different targets that use gamepads. This includes the PC. If you're going to add gamepad support, you might as well support all of these targets. It's really useful to have gamepad support on the PC because that means you can build and test on the PC without having to deploy your code to the remote target every time. This is a huge time saver and will make you more productive. There are a lot of different gamepads out in the world. You could write your own gamepad mapper for Unity, mapping each controller into Unity's input mapper, or you could buy a solution from the asset store. If you do want to write your own solution, NVIDIA does provide a sample that supports both the Xbox 360 wired controller on PC and the Shield controller on Android, and you can get it from this URL. That being said, considering the complexity of supporting many different gamepads across many different platforms and the low cost of solutions available in the asset store, it may simply be more cost effective to buy one. In the next section, we'll show how to add gamepad support using one of the more popular gamepad mapping solutions from the asset store. Follow along as we create a simple first-person shooter camera in just a few lines of code. So here you can see we've set up a simple Unity scene. It's just a few boxes and the camera. This is the main camera and I've added a character controller to the main camera and I've offset it in the Y slightly to make it appear as if the camera is approximately where a human's head would be within the character controller. I've added the in control manager script and I've also added a custom script of my own and the purpose of this custom con custom script is to essentially take input from in control and use it to move and orient, orient the camera and the character controller. So let's take a look at the custom script and it's pretty simple there's only about 90 lines of code here at the top of the class you can see we have some member variables for things like speed and uh, pitch um, in the initialization function what we're doing is we're basically getting handles to things like the character controller and also to the camera so that we can um, change those and then in the update function we're simply reading things out of the input manager using variables like the return value from the sticks to update the rotation and orientation and position of our character and if we go down to the bottom here you can see essentially what we're doing is we're just pushing all this data into the character controller and that's what allows us to move around so let's take a look at it in action so I just hit play and now we're inside the player and we can run around and bump into boxes just as you might expect and you can strafe too so this is similar to the experience you would have if you were playing a first person shooter say on a Xbox or a PlayStation so now we've got this all set up let's try building it and running it on PC so we simply go to build settings make sure we have PC set and build and run So now you can see the PC version of the game is ready to run. Uh, we don't need to change any of these settings, so let's fire it up. And there we have it, a simple scene, and we're able to run around and bump into things using an Xbox 360 controller on the PC. So now that's working, let's try it on Android. So now let's make the demo run on our Android device. So we go to build settings and this time we're going to select Android. Simply click build and run. Give it an APK name. I already did this one so I have to override it. And Unity will build the APK and deploy it to the device. And now you can see that I'm able to use the game controller to move around inside of the Unity scene on my Shield Android TV. So in summary, we showed you that adding gamepad support for your Unity game is quick and simple. It allows you to target a wide range of gaming platforms, including the NVIDIA Shield. By supporting gamepads on PC, you can cut down on development time and make yourself more efficient. So it's a no-brainer, really. Okay, have fun making games and watch out for more videos in the series.